Hey there, I guess you clicked on this video because you didn't really understand what Moser stands for. Well, a little while ago, I asked on my server, If you're not there, join it, link in description, okay thanks. If I should do an objects review thingy, where every month I'm gonna review the episodes that came out in that month. So, Moser basically stands for Monthly Objects Show Episode Reviews. I know, it, it, it sucks. <laughs> the name is bad. And June is the starting month of this brand new series. And because of the time it takes to make a video like this, I'm only gonna review stuff that went on before the 20th of the same month. Everything that is uploaded after the 20th will be in the next month's review. Now, I'm gonna try to review all the episodes that came out in each month, but the show must have one requirement to be reviewed. The only requirement is that it must have voice acting. I don't care what software it's on, whether it's Flash, whether it's PowerPoint, whether it's Google Slides, as long as it has voices, I will review it. If it's with text, there's no way. The aspects of reviewing every episode are animation or animatic, doesn't really matter as I said before, voice acting, writing, design, and overall aesthetics in certain scenes. If a scene is supposed to be sad, you need to make sure it gives the right aesthetic to the viewer. That means music, lighting, whatever, just so it'll give this right feeling of sadness that it's supposed to provide. Every aspect has a limit of 5 points. 5 means best and 1 means worst. I am adding bonus points in the overall if the episode pulls off a creative aspect as well. A creative challenge, creative visuals, etc, etc. Also, I'm gonna get most of the episodes from the channel in the OSC server where they post object show episodes with voice acting. But I might miss a few because they don't always post everything there. So, if you have any suggestions for object show episodes that you have voice acting in it that I should review or be on the lookout for, just tell me in the comments. And I'm going to list them and review them by order of uploading in the month. So, the one that has been uploaded the earliest will be the first review. With that out of the way, let's get to the first Moser episode ever, Moser June. <laughs> I honestly love this object show so, so much. The design, the writing, the animation, and the overall creative aspect of this amazes me and inspires me to continue with mine and try my best to become more creative. It really gives me the vibes of 2014 object shows, which I miss a lot. I mean, just look at some of these perspective shots, such as this one where Spear and Bowling will look at the 3D printer. And I can say that I absolutely love this kind of way of recovering contestants. It's really creative, and I didn't see that it's getting used in any other object shows. Unless they haven't, you know, it's not really popular. This show really has a huge creative aspect I love. The writing overall has a lot of good jokes that I actually laughed at and I didn't see coming. There wasn't a single joke that felt flat. The challenge, as another example, is a simple concept, but he added a nifty little twist. And that is the kind of challenges I want to see. The other thing this episode absolutely nails is the aesthetic and design it gives in certain scenes, such as the after credit scene, where they both sit in the sun and the sun's light is like reflecting on their bodies such as babies. One of the other things is the amount of detail. Just like when they're in a the museum and the paintings on the walls are all different and unique each time, this episode definitely shows the amount of potential that has to be a successful show, and I can really see that happening. However, as much as I enjoyed this episode, there were some issues I need to address. The lip syncing is off for most of the episode. It's not too bold, but it's still enough time so I'd notice it and consider it a problem. It just really makes me focus on that more than focusing on what's going on in the scene. And I'd strongly advise fixing it. Other than that, I think some of the voices are sound the same, and I only notice a real difference with Grapey, which is actually kind of hard to hear his voice too, his volume was too low. So, I just think this needs more diverse voice actors and fix up the volume for Grapey's voice. And honestly, I think the intro should change. It is too fast and it's hard to remember, to me at least. So, I really like this episode and it's definitely one of my favorite object shows. And I can't wait to see where this continues from now. I'm gonna rate it by giving 4 points for animation, minus 1 point for lip syncing, 4 points for voice acting, minus 1 point for Grapey's volume and a lot of contestants having the same voice, 5 points for writing, 5 points for design with all the attention to detail, and lastly, 5 for aesthetic. Plus that, I'm adding 5 more points for creative aspect in the episode. Overall, making it a 28 out of 25 points. Wait, uh, how, how does this... What? Now, it's time to move to the second review. Okay, Vince, don't fire me if I say a bit of negative things about this. This episode was okay-ish. I think there was too much inconsistency with the animatic and it bothered me a bit. Especially in the elimination scene, where mouths were just placed really wrong. And posing was a bit too generic, you can say. 
And yeah, I think the scene was pretty trashy as well. Oh, well. Uh, however, there were moments where the animatic was pretty good. Of course, the scene Z did was amazing. He always does an incredible job with proper animatic. And I do think the flash parts that sometimes show up are a good addition. The voice acting wasn't that good, if I'm being honest. There were too many times where the background music was too low and it was still hard to hear their voices. And yes, mine was too low as well. I take the blame for that. The only characters with good voice acting are Coffee, Starry, and Wallet. Also, I love Coffee's character, he's absolutely hilarious and it's so fun to see him on the screen. His voice actor really does an incredible job and he really fits the character. There is a lot of attention to design in this episode as well, and that is something I really love to see. However, the perspective were really generic and always having two characters on screen side by side and wasn't interesting visually. I also take so much possibility on that, considering I animated a scene and basically rushed it. Sorry. <laughs> I'll try my best adding new visual perspective as long as I animate for the show. One of the things I liked about this episode is that it nailed the aesthetic of each scene. An example is when Starry kills Copy and A gets mad at and the entire mood changes from what it was two seconds before Starry fell on Copy and killed her. And I love it. The writing for this episode was pretty good. It focused on the challenge and on the elimination, and the jokes were good. I don't think any of the jokes fell flat. For final rating, I'd give Animatic 2.5 points, minus points for inconsistency. For voice acting, I give 1.5, minus points for volume and so many characters being a mess, just like mine. For writing, I give 5 points, creative challenge, good jokes, 5 for design, and 5 for aesthetic. So, it all ends up in an overall score of 19 out of 25. Still pretty good, some things need major fixes such as voice acting volume and make sure people follow the proportions. And these are all the episodes that came out this month! I know, this is kind of weird. I mean, there was another episode of Rival Revenge, but that show got, got cancelled, like, a few days ago. <laughs> nice one, Julia. So there's no point in reviewing something that already is cancelled. So... That is all for this episode of Moser, and I'll see you next month.